good. back to Anderson's good. TV. Hello, good morning. Uh, good Danish Pete in the house. <laughs> the captain. Um, <laughs> what are these names, anyway? Uh, who knows? We just keep going. I on. might make. I'm, I'm going to change mine. I think. I'm, 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 I'm going to get. Uh, what, what happens when you lose a rank? Like when you're court-martialed or you're disciplined or something? I mean, I'm just going to go back to being a corporal. You can call it <laughs> right. Losers. Um, okay, we've got four pedals on the table here, but the one you need to focus on <laughs> is the TC Infinite. Um, because that's the new one. Mm -hmm. Actually, that's not true. This is new too. But we're, and we'll come to that in a different video probably. Yeah. So the TC Infinite is, uh, they call it a sample sustainer. And it's basically, um, I guess it's a kind of in that territory of delay, loopy, sort of vibey thing. Uh, it's been done before by other brands. Yeah, that's what I say. Uh, it's not a new thing, is it? The freeze kind of vibe. What were those cool guys in... Latvia that made crazy pedals. Oh, they, well, game changer. There, that's it. That's it. But that's it. That's anyway, it. so they're, yeah. they're, conceptually, this pedal's been around for a while, but uh, I quite like the fact that TC have sort of taken it to another level, and also yeah. as well as you know, TC often do um, made it a little bit more affordable too. How much is it? So this is about 130 quid, something like that. Okay. Um, so we have uh, the, the basic concept of the pedal: play a chord or a note. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. Hit a button and it uh, samples and sustains that Jam with yourself. forever. Uh, where this gets slightly more interesting is that you can apply effects to that. So there are some onboard effects, reverb and modulation effects that you can apply to that sustainer. Mm -hmm. There's an effects loop, which means you can loop uh, those that sustained note through something else. That's what how we've set the um, Boss synth up. Um, and there are various ways that it'll work, either in momentary or latched modes, and there you can also control how many layers you want to layer up of so that it's cold, sustained you? note. Absolutely. Okay, <laughs> right. Pedals all off. Yep. Let's give you the basic bare bones of what it does in its dry <laughs> mode. So, its simplest, is momentary or latching more simple? Probably latched, I think. And it's so okay, explain to me, latching and momentary, what does that mean, Lee? Latching. For somebody who doesn't understand okay. what, or doesn't go, what does that mean? No Lee? problem. Okay, a latched switch in its simplest terms is one that you hit it, it switches on, yeah. and it stays on until yeah. you hit it again, and then it switches off. Okay, latch. Okay, that's yeah. latch. That's how most pedals work. Hit okay. it once to turn it off, hit it again to turn it off. Momentary, though, is like a sustain pedal on a piano. Yeah. So it hit only it. works as you're holding it down, and then you release, and okay. it turns itself off. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to show you L1 in the latched mode. This basically means when we hit it, the light's going to go red. It will sustain that chord forever mm -hmm. and ever and ever and ever. Uh, and ever if and I ever. want to replace it, I would press the button again whilst after having played another chord. That was actually what we were doing in the first. Yeah, demo. yeah, yeah. So if you play a chord, Mr. So here's a beat. We can control whilst that's uh, happening the uh, how fast it fades in yep. and how slow it fades out using the fade and decay buttons. And I've switched the effects off now, so any reverb you're hearing is just from the amplifier. Yeah, and that's kept and that's kept that loop. Now you turn it up and down. Okay. Yep, that was where we had. You know, if I wanted to apply something through the effects loop, we've just got basically a sort of a we're padding out that kind of sound with a, with a with a padded synth yep. sound. Um, now, if I want to uh, just stop that now, I double click and it stops. So, all right, and again, depending on how fast it fades out, will be that decay button. However, what's kind of more interesting, and again, what we were doing in that first demo, is rather than double clicking to switch off, each time I hit it once, mm -hmm. it just changes to whatever the, you next, the next note is, yeah. it is. So, well, let's yeah. just do a quick so three chord demo. Of that. Okay, here we go. I mean, Again, I did use some of the same, uh, actually I used, they were going through the whole thing. It's so. fine. So what we were doing again, we've got the fade in quite low because we want the idea that basically as soon as Pete does the chord change, that uh, the, the pedal starts to sustain the most recent chord. Yep. I'm guessing there'll be way more sort of ambient weirdy things where we can get much more of a transition between the old chord and the new chord. Uh, right, L2 and L3 and infinite, you'll see on here, are fundamentally the same kind of idea, except 
um, what will happen now each time I hit it in L2 mode is it's going to take the first chord, layer the second chord, maybe chords or notes might be more, so it's going to layer it, and then the third time is going to replace the first one with yeah. the third, and you can see that. Hopefully you can kind of work out that in the L3, the three layered mode, it's just, you know, it's essentially only replacing the initial one after the fourth time and then infinite never replaces it in fact we said that we try we put it through its paces before yeah eventually on the infinite one it kind of becomes quite hard to hear the first exactly. one but only yeah. after you've done like a dozen or so yeah. other notes do you want to try it just a show i mean i can do uh, well let's I do each one, one note, so it, we'll I'll do, do one note at the time okay right? well, well let's do l2 first but as you say we're doing one note because it's okay so here we go yeah. Then the, you get you so you get you get these two, and then you get these two, and then you get yep. at the end, and they'll uh, take the last one away. I mean, infinite. Obviously, we can try again. Try again. Yep. <laughs> Um, so the tone prints are essentially, uh, sorry, I say tone prints, TP1, 2, and 3 are three different, um, uh, TC tone prints that you can load in. If you're familiar with TC pedals, you'll be familiar with the tone print concept. If you're not, uh, it's an app on yep. your phone, works on iOS or Android. It works for all TC digital pedals. Uh, and the idea being is that the people at TC will ask uh, artists to design mm -hmm. patches and things like that. They'll do their own patches internally. There's lots here. And then you basically go, right, I quite like that sound. And you do this, should we try it? Okay, so... Let me just go and pick through the looking glass. This one says it uh, single layer tone print with a reverb always on and a T set or C flanger modulation. This is the, this is this one. Okay. The K knob sets the reverb size, reverb size, and the fade in knob controls modulation, depth, speed, well, and feedback. Let's see what happens. Um, okay, well I'm going to switch. I'm just going to okay. switch the effects on just in case you have to. Okay. So you want to? I've, I've put it on a tone print um, location on the on the effects type knob. And I'll go to click beam to pedal, put it next to my pickup. This always freaks me out. You see the pedals going receiving data. And there we are. Um, so now, here's the chord. Oh, I should turn it up. So that's quite there's, cool. There's, so the so the, so the features you you can get different things on. And there's I don't know how many there is here, like twenty, five. I mean, what tends I mean, to happen over time is is the um, list yeah. of tone prints gets bigger and bigger and bigger, and yeah. they're all free. Yeah, and there's artist here. Um, and double dip. Let me show you what the momentary mode does. Momentary mode, I think, is a little bit more difficult. Um, I think that's more where the pedal would be easier if it was pe at Pete's feet. Yes. So what's happening now is momentary is just going to literally hold the sustained note for as long as Pete wants it. So let's try it. You play over the top. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And I walk off. I'm going to do another one. And yeah. again, you can set the decay to be, that's probably where you'd have the decay really long. Yeah, and then you do your foot and you'd and lift off and then you get into the next one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try, try, try okay, a little bit of that. So here we go.
Yeah, so then you've got a longer period of time to yeah, take the next chord, yeah. So awesome. basically, that's what the infinite display, uh, infinite display, mm -hmm. infinite display. sustain pedal does. Um, I know Rick Beato often uses simple freeze pedals to show uh, students how to do scales over certain chords. I think actually that he plays and then he puts the chords down afterwards. What? As in he plays over a chord? He just, no, he just plays like pedal. this and then he puts the chord down afterwards. Oh, really? I think that's how it works, but I might be wrong, but I think I've heard him. Because people go, how did you use, use a freeze effect? And then he actually does the chords afterwards. Oh, I see. Because he's, he's, that, he's just that yeah. amazing. In, um, I mean, but, I, but that, yeah, I could thought use that. The, I th we were playing beforehand with like, what could you do through the effects loop? And I guess to a certain extent, it's anything you want and almost like the more experimental among you will, yeah, yeah. will get off on that kind of thing. You know, the could do anything. You could be mad. You could have ring modulators, all kinds of stuff. Um, Go mad. Different kinds of distortions. And of course, you don't have to just have one pedal through the effects loop. You could have as many pedals as you, you want. You could have a pedal board. Loop. Yeah, absolutely. You can have an amp in there. You can have uh, a looper pedal in the effects loop and then loop something within the oh infinite. Oh my God. Hang on a second. My brain can't handle that. You can so have you're another infinite. an infinite sustample. Sustample? Sustample. You can have another <laughs> infinite. Actually, you can have another infinite loop with another infinite looper with another infinite looper inside it. So you're looping them all then into each other. You go into the matrix and this. Sort of hey, but that weird. might be what, what might we should get, we should have one of those. Um, what was it? The new um, Chase Bliss one. That's what you'll be in the loop. The habit. <laughs> 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 um, just well, look, leave I over mean, the look, weekend. To be honest with you, uh, I kind That's of it? feel like yeah. all there is to really do is is to sort of challenge Monsieur Pete to get musical. Yeah, uh, we can and try and do some sort of outward. Or inward. Sustained or, or I inward. mean, it could be in, inward. Um, yeah. Well, look, I'll put links below to where you can find out more about yeah. the Infinite Sample Sustainer. I look forward to seeing videos on these. I suspect this will be one of these pedals that sort of inspires people to make all sorts of new sounds. Yeah. And, Why not? Um, That's what it's for, isn't it? Yeah. Um, well, yeah. let's soundscape out then. Shall we? Just before we go, in case anyone's wondering, uh, this is how the four pedals are, are wired in just you know so guitars going into the jhs overdrive pedal and that's going straight into the delay pedal and then that's going into the sustainer so essentially whatever signal we generate through the guitar this pedal and this pedal if we then hit the sustain thing it will try to sustain all of that uh, typically what i was doing was sustaining a clean tone and then adding these in to let pete sort of noodle over the top and then this pedal is just through the loop so if this pedal is on, it's only processing what this is sustaining. Mm. Hopefully okay. that uh, makes sense. And before we go, you mm. like and subscribe, hit the notification bell and all that stuff. I want to try something with this looper pedal at the end. Are we going bonus uh, content here, well, we're, Mr. Um, uh, yes, I want to try just to put a looper Should we do and two end. endings? One that, in case this doesn't work, so one without this. <laughs> one well, without let's see. I'm let's sure this will anyway, work. Anyway, goodbye, everybody. Yeah, there you or go. this worked.
Mr. Either. Pete. I think you, you can't hear the conversation that's going on between Pete and I whilst that's playing. Or perhaps some lip readers amongst you might. We're still, I think probably during this whole, you know, we've been messing around with this pedal for about two hours. Um, and obviously you've seen, you know, maybe 20 minutes of it or whatever. It's an interesting one. Sometimes I think we get really cool results with the synthesizer pedal. Sometimes yeah. I think there's enough stuff built into the, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. with the reverb and the modulation yeah. kind of built into the uh, TC Infinite, kind of feels like we're just needlessly adding yeah, uh, more stuff. Yeah, I also stuff, think but... that maybe it's not, you can kind of hear when the pedal is going, oh, it's too much in me now. You know, when you yeah. put in and the stuff's yeah, yeah, coming yeah, yeah. out and it yeah. feels maybe like um, it's not a, it's, if it's 24 bits or whatever, but, it might need but to so, be But half of me feels like there'll be some people who'll be getting these infinite things and they'll have these great big boards with like 50 pedals mm. on them. And they'll try all kinds of stuff through the loop and they'll get some crazy cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so it'd be interesting to, to just, yeah. you know, tag us every, you know, every few weeks, just see what new infinite videos come Hashtag out. Hashtag But there you go, look, so Anderton's. that was cool. And, you know, the pedal on the end is just the oh, little well, TC it? Ditto, uh, super affordable, super the popular. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Ditto Plus. Um, hey, these are in stock now. If you want to grab one, links are below. Head on over to Anderson's. We'd much appreciate it. Uh, and that's it. Yes, we shall see you in another video soon. Thanks for watching. Au revoir, as they say in Denmark. Yeah, so... Fram to be. Ha <laughs> <laughs>